All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be in the 147 pound division where Adrian Broner may have been set up to, to fail by forces unknown in his uh, potential fight against uh, Michael Williams Jr., as it is reported some details on Mr. Williams' broken jaw, and all I can say is, man, <laughs> it's, I don't know if this is true, but hey, wilder things have happened, and goodness gracious, man, that is some dirty business if it is. Let's give you the scoop in this video. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to be in the 147 pound division where Adrian Bronner cannot catch a break, but there may be a chance, and I'm telling you ahead of time, I am not signing off on the truth or falseness of it, but I will say, ah, uh, it's kind of plausible <laughs> because goodness gracious, man, ain't that much coincidence in the world that, Air that Adrian Bronner's Third consecutive opponent for his fight with BLK Prime fell through. Uh, and this one, according to uh, the word that is out there uh, from a phone conversation that took place with uh, Michael Williams Sr. Uh, with a uh, podcast called The Spit Bucket. Shout out to you. Shout out to Mr. IT, I -O -T -B -A, uh, who is a, who is a host on that and is the source of the information I'm going to share you, share with you. Man, wild stuff. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much for your continued support. Greatly, greatly appreciate it through your thanks in the super thanks and in the... Um, uh, and in the cash apps and the live streams that we do on the channel. And also, just so you know, there's a, there's a chance coming in the summer that YouTube's structure is really going to change, which will make you guys support like that all the more important uh, because of some stuff that's going on. Uh, it's, gonna, it's called the case, the 203, an issue with 203. Won't get into the details of it, but you guys that are loyal subscribers that hit the subscribe button, hit the share and the like buttons. Uh, and support like that are going to be more and more uh, important to YouTube channels like myself. So thank you guys so much. But let's give you some information that should be fun. Not going to do this cloak and dagger stuff about boxing, you know, being dirty and, you know, hint at you. I'm going to tell you what I heard and tell you I don't know if it's true or not. But, man, it sounds very, very plausible. So as you know, Adrian Bronner just had his fourth fight, a uh, third fight. was well, fourth fight in a row canceled. But third fight with BLK Prime, uh, uh, where a an opponent pulled out. The first one, or the first two, were because one was because the promoter was asking for a lot of stuff, and so the promoter, another outside promoter, didn't like the, didn't let the fight go on. The second one was another fighter, Hank Lundy, that was already on another card, and a fight promoter would not let them go on. This time. Uh, Michael Williams got a, his jaw broken, right? So people ask me in my live stream, you know, man, could you think that somebody could be setting up Adrian Bronner? And at first I'm like, first of all, I'm of two minds. One is, man, how are you going to set up somebody for a broken jaw? But at the same time, look, man, God, that's a lot of coincidence. You know what I mean? Like when it happened two times, I was almost willing to put money that it was going to happen a third because, dude, it's like if something just don't sound right, smell right, something ain't right. So to get fast forward to it and cut to the chase, Michael Williams Sr. was on an interview on a phone call with IOTBA24, uh, who is a YouTube channel and a podcast called The Spit Bucket. Uh, from Texas, knows his boxing and all that good stuff. So what he told him was that according, and I'm going to read you the tweet that came out from the spit bucket. According to a phone call with Father Michael Williams Sr. and the spit bucket host IOTBA, trainer Roy Jones Jr. 
wanted to pull Michael Williams from the Adrian Broner Williams BLK Prime card this week. Both Williams Jr. and the father declined the recommendation. The next day, Williams was put in hard sparring against a much bigger six-footer, which resulted in a broken jaw. Now, just so you know, Michael Williams, I'm not sure how, how tall he is, but at most he's a 147-pounder. There's not a lot of 160-pounders out there. Also, I have to tell you something else. I did talk to a professional Fighter, I got word from a Hall of Fame professional, Hall of Fame level professional fighter, multi divisional champion that listened that that looked at the X rays or saw the same X rays that we all saw and said, "Man, they must have been Willie, must have been fighting with thin gloves or not sparring gloves or something for his jaw to get broke in the two places that you know that it that it right that he had the problem right." So I was like, so all together. Basically what it's sounding like, because when Michael Williams Sr. originally uh, announced that he was pulling out, he said he fired my, Roy Jones Jr. So this is a scenario where it looks like, OK, man, could there be some funny business where people out there in the boxing world really do not want BLK Prime to be successful? Um, and because if you have two promoters that won't work, won't work with them and then you have Roy Jones Jr. And again, I'm not vouching for the truth of this. I'm just telling you what was said. If Roy Jones Jr. is asking him to, to Michael Williams to pull off of the card, why would he ask him to pull off the card, right? So if, according to Michael Williams Jr. through this interview, they were asked to get off the card, and if they would have appealed, if they would have went along with that, then Adrian Bronner would have lost the opponent, right? But then when they say, no, we're going to go through with it, he winds up having hard sparring with a very, very big guy and gets his jaw broken. Oh, and according to the person that I talk when they, to, and I'm telling you, I'm not vouching for this. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. They say, hold on, man. Was there something wrong with the gloves? What kind of gloves were they wearing? Because how do you get your jaw broken in two different spots when you're wearing sparring gloves? Were they wearing like regular gloves or thick? Like were they fighting in Reyes gloves or something? So look, man. That's some shady sound of stuff. I can't lie. And it's shady stuff, sound of stuff from a lot of different angles. Number one, good, goodness gracious, how unlucky can Adrian Bronner be? Right? Two of the three that I, we knew for sure pulled out because of other promoters didn't want to allow their, their fighter to fight on that card. And then on the third one, you have, according to the guy that pulled, that wound up getting his jaw broke, his father, he, they were asked to pull off that card as well. So, like I said in my live stream, man, I'm like, man, there's just some bad juju going on around this Adrian Bronner, around this Bronner fight. And I would not put it above human beings to go through all kind of ways to get rid of the competition, right? I, so, man, hopefully, you know, it's not something that will continue. Um, I don't think anybody deserves that. But again, I'm telling you, I'm not telling you whether I think it is true or not true. All I'm saying is this is what is being said, and this is being said by people that really don't have a reason to lie. So, um, and, you know, there's all kind of dirty business in, in, in life, period, okay? Not just boxing. There's people, a lot of people say, oh, you know, boxing is so much, nah, there's dirty business all over the place. There's dirty business in farming. There's dirty business. There's just people that do people dirty out there in the world. And when you are out there trying to make a name for yourself and you may be out there, you know, uh, doing stuff that people don't like, man, you know, it's a doggy dog. It's a doggy dog world. It, you know, somebody gank, ganks you, you gank them, which is why I try my best just to be straightforward as I can be and not bring that energy on myself. But, um, you know, that's just kind of wild stuff, man. It's, that's some wild stuff. And, you know, Adrian Bronner. Like, you know, there's something called karma in the world. And I'm not saying that karma is always some, you know, intangible spiritual thing. No, literally, you out there talking really, really bad about people and trying to run people out of business. You know, don't be surprised if some of the people that you're trying to run out of business try to turn around, try to run you out of business. So, hey, man, my prayers go out to everybody involved. Michael Williams Jr., Adrian Broner, 
Uh, if this is not true about Roy Jones Jr., him as well, because again, I'm not saying I know this to be true. I'm just saying this is what's said. Anyway, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Thank you.